Mr. Mac here. Have you ever seen slinkies? There are lots of fun like this. One here, and you can see that some sweatshirt, do nice tricks with it. Very clever to make walk down steps. But have you ever seen one like this? It's a very, very long spring. And this spring is very useful for demonstrating waves. The topic has to do with waves. I want to demonstrate, first of all, a simple pulse as it goes along the swing. So what I did is simply lift up my hand, and you'll notice that it went along and has a single pulse. It reflected at the other end, and it's actually upside down. Let me try and get something else going, which is a standing wave. Now you've probably noticed the middle, about where the glue stick is on the bench, it is not seeming to move. It seems to be staying in one place. It's a place of no displacement, and we call that a node. Places where it's going very, very fast, high and low, we call those antinodes. There are two antinodes here, and three nodes, including my hand, although my hand is giving a bit of energy, but not a lot, to keep the standing wave going. Both the pulse and the standing wave are examples of transverse waves. The transverse wave goes up and down at right angles to the direction of travel, which is that way, from right to left. But there are also compressional waves. If you watch closely, you may or may not see this. I'm squeezing the spring together, and I'll let it go. And you may see a compression is where the spring goes backwards and forwards in the direction of travel. So a compression wave is sometimes called a longitudinal wave. Those are two types of waves. There is a third which is very hard to demonstrate on the video where I give this a twist and the twist carries all the way along. Although that is an example of a transverse wave of some type. So we've seen now three types of waves. Longitudinal waves, compressional waves, and torsional models. I'm Mr. Mann. Thanks for listening.